Well, one of Apple's Silicon Valley peers has also been making headlines as well, especially in recent weeks. Yahoo is at a crossroads, and its future is getting murkier. The tech giant CEO is trying to save the company by painting a more optimistic picture. That's as Yahoo holds its annual mobile developers conference. CCTV's Mark New reports. Inside this historic San Francisco building called the Masonic, one of history's iconic tech companies makes its pitch to a new generation of techies. CEO Marissa Meyer's biggest weapon is Flurry, a mobile data analytics platform that she helped acquire in 2014. Flurry data revealed that the average U.S. consumer is spending more than four hours a day on mobile, 91% of that time spent on apps. Last year, I spoke about how we're thinking about being mobile first at Yahoo. Today, that's a given. This year, we're being really focused on being mobile engagement first. This means how can we more effectively capture the share of those four hours on mobile each day? Meyer says one of the answers is by increased personalization of apps, making Flurry the perfect tool for developers who are vital to the company's survival. That really brings us full circle back to all of you, the developers. You're at the center of the future of mobile for users, advertisers, partners, and for Yahoo. From growing the Flurry community to turning apps into real businesses, it's been an incredible year. But Meyer made no mention of the internal difficulties going on at the company. Yahoo recently announced it was laying off 15% of its 11,000 employees. When all the cuts have been made, Yahoo expects its workforce to be 42% smaller than it was in 2012 when Meyer first came aboard. Yahoo senior vice president Simon Califf also highlighted that while mobile phone sales declined, software was still on the rise, ironically using competitors Google and Facebook as examples to illustrate that point. He brushed off talk of an overall mobile web industry decline. We are not going to see that. I believe 2016, we're going to see a pause. I'm going to call it a year of pause and reflection. I'm going to call it the end of mobile 1.0. And we're going to take this year to think about mobile 2.0. Yahoo has indicated it's exploring the sale of some of its assets. Here at the conference, though, Meyer only mentioned that Yahoo prided itself on being one of the most partner-friendly companies in the industry. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.